Hi ladies, how are you doing? It's Andrea. I'm a nutritional therapist and, and I love to help and support women during perimenopause and menopause. Um, and women have hormone imbalances so they can look good and feel good inside and out. I also have a YouTube channel. Um, I post my videos on there as well. And I have a Facebook group, which is a private group for perimenopause and menopause women. And you can join my group and, and have private conversations. And we share lots of questions and I, I'm, I'm in there and I share recipes and, and things like that. So if you want to come along and check out my group as well. Um, I'm also going to be running um, a hormone balance challenge soon in October. So look out for that as well. I'm going to be posting that. I'm going to be running it on this page. I usually run a lot of my challenges in my group. But I think I'm going to do it on this page this time and I'll be putting in the link for you to sign up to that. It's a free challenge. You can get involved. I'm going to be posting lots of things about how you can get healthy hormones, how you can get your hormones under control. So I wanted to talk to you today about how do you know if you've got a hormone imbalance? What are the signs and signals that your body is telling you that you have an imbalance? Because um, I was speaking to a lady the other day and she says, oh, Andrea, I'm struggling so much. I can't cope today. I'm having a bad day today. My hormones are just all over the place. I've got lots of anxiety. I just can't cope. Um, I can't think straight. And then I said to her, I says, look, you don't have to put up with those symptoms. That is a sign that your, your hormones aren't quite right. I mean, in perimenopause, it's hard to create a, a, a really, really good balance because your hormones are all over the place. But there's so much that you can do to help with your scatty symptoms, help with your hormones going up and down and up and down and all over the place. Um, there's so much that you can do. And I work with women to help them with four areas, and that's diet, lifestyle, mindset, and um, exercise. And all these things play a big role in how you go through perimenopause and how you can control your symptoms because I've been there, I've been through perimenopause myself the last 10 years. I know what's been working for me and how you can help. So I put together my hormone reset, 30 day hormone reset to set you off on your, on your track, set you off to, to learn out about these four areas and how it can help you in a massive, massive way. It's a big game changer for lots of women. When you work with your hormones, not against them, can have a massive difference to your day-to-day -day life. She might be putting up with period pains, fibroids, heavy bleeding, PCOS, PMS, just before your period starting, you're just feeling really bad and your boobs are aching. You really don't have to put up with all these symptoms and there's so much that you can do to help them and um, to feel better again and feel more, more normal and be able to get through your day without struggling, without dragging yourself through your day. And trying to just get on with it. So what are some other symptoms that you can be suffering with that are signs that your hormones are not balanced? Apart from these quite common ones, um, there's lots of other things like um, endometriosis, maybe fibrocystic breasts as well. Um, there's lots you can do to help remedy all those things. And so if you're having lots of problems with your weight, you've tried everything, you don't know what what else to try and you've tried lots of different diets you're exercising maybe you're, you think that you're eating healthily because I thought that I was eating healthily and then I looked at the, what I was eating and it wasn't quite that healthy as I thought it was because you can be eating lots of health bars lots of foods that say they're, they're good for you and really when you get to, down to the bottom of it sometimes these foods are not that healthy for you and you may think they're healthy for your friend but you might have some symptoms going on in your body. You might have some problems and it's not healthy for you. Um, it's just not working for you. It's not working right because every woman's different. And you probably need to change the way that you're eating based on your what's going on in your body. So what's working for your friend and what's working for them may not work for you. So you can't always follow what somebody else is doing. You have to really tailor it around your what's going on in your body and your symptoms <clears throat> and I can help you do that in my hormone reset another big a big red flag is not just weight gain having trouble losing your weight no matter what you've done tried before 
is you have lots of digestion issues. Now this is quite a massive one. Lots of people are suffering with lots of digestive problems now. And a lot of bloating, maybe have some diarrhea, maybe have constipation or a bit of both. Um, you have acid reflux and some foods that irritate you and you just really have lots of problems with digestion. That can be a hormone imbalance as well and uh, mineral imbalances going on. If you have lots of skin issues, um, have you got lots of acne, have you got lots of spots, lots of pimples on your arms? Um, pimples at the back of your legs, things like that. Also, skin issues, very, very dry, irritated skin. I mean, you get, you do get drier skin in menopause when your home, when your estrogen levels have dropped. It does affect your skin anyway. But I'm talking if you've got extreme skin conditions, um, then that can, this can be a sign as well. Um, so, have you, have you got an aching body, aching joints? Um, are you, is your body inflamed? Because my body was inflamed because um, I was suffering with um, some hormone imbalances. So these are all signs as well that you have a hormone imbalance. So there's quite a lot that can identify hormone imbalance and as well as the perimenopause symptoms, your hot flashes. Some of them can be really, really extreme, the hot flashes to the point where it stops you from really living your life and feeling not feeling embarrassed by it. You know, you might be at work and you're just sweating and go really red all the time. Um, sometimes you have hot flashes and they can be quite mild and not really bother you that much. But if you have an extreme hot flashes, then this can be a really, really big sign that you need to do something, um, you can do something about it. You're not sleeping right and it's, it's I'm talking about insomnia that you can't get to sleep all the time it's like every night you're really struggling and you're not feeling great and you're not waking up refreshed um so this is all a massive signs uh, as well so there's so much that you can do about it so let me know in the comments below i'd love to know if you're struggling with lots of hormone imbalance symptoms um let me know because i want to help you like i say i've been there i'm in menopause now I've been there, I know what it's like to, I didn't have extreme symptoms, but you know, I know people that are struggling, just getting through the day, day to day, and not really putting a lot of focus on yourself, because a lot of women, they're not taking care of themselves, you're not putting a, too, a, enough focus on your life and how you're feeling. You're so concerned with doing through your day to day life, looking after others, then you have don't have a lot of time to take care of yourself so you really need to make more time for really checking in on how your body's feeling getting honest with yourself and saying okay how do i feel day to day what is stopping me from getting up every day and feeling good because you can get up every day feel good have energy and not be moody, not feel like you're dragging yourself out of bed every day. That's, that's not something that you want to be doing. You want to be living life to the full. I mean, who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want to get out of bed every day and feel good and be feeling happy, uh, be able to maintain the weight, know how to prepare healthy, healthy, good, nutritious foods, know where to start, know what to eat. You know, don't struggle, don't just tie yourself up in knots, don't get fearful of trying new things, trying new foods, and you can get your family involved. It's not something that you have to restrict you just, just for you. You don't have to cook separate meals to your family. I mean, don't you want your family to be healthy as well? There's no difference there. You can eat the same foods as what they're eating, and you can start to incorporate some healthier meals into their diet, and they'll probably be surprised how, how much they like it, you know? Um, so it's all about getting in touch with you and making time for yourself because this lady I spoke to she she knew she wanted to make changes and she had she knew she wanted to make changes she wanted to feel better she didn't like struggling every day and not feeling great but she was saying she's gonna do that tomorrow and do it tomorrow and today what be tomorrow what be so busy and she was getting through it and just coping with it day after day after day and not really sitting down and saying to herself okay enough is enough I'm not struggling anymore I want to get to grips with it. I want to get sorted. I want to take care of my health. So you're going into this next phase of your life feeling healthier, 
um, you're eating better, you, you can look bet look good and feel good, better than you did in your 20s and your 30s if you want. You know, I'm 51 now, and you know, my skin feels amazing right now, um, I've got more energy, um, I'm more aware of how I'm feeling about myself, I'm happier in my skin now, I know more about myself, um, I've got to know what I don't like and what I like, not taking any shit from anybody, saying, you know, standing up for myself, believing in myself. This is all possible. You don't have to look in the mirror and don't think that you're good enough to look good and feel good inside and out because you do and you deserve to feel better. You don't have to put up with getting older and struggling with the, um, the signs of uh, um, sufferings of aging. Um, yeah, so there's so much you can do. If you want to set up a call with me, I'm happy to have a chat with you. If you're interested in my 30-day reset, I'm going to put the link below. And I've also put a free meal guide together to give you a taster of what happens in my 30-day reset, what sort of recipes that are in there. So I'll put the link to that below. Download my free meal plan. Have a go with it. Let me know how you're getting on with it. Let me know what sort of foods that you like to eat. I'd love to know that as well, put in the comments below. So just let me know how you're getting on and, and what your main symptoms are. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching today and take care and I'll see you again in another video. See you later.